This video will show you how you can take your blocks in App Inventor, copy it over to a Google Doc, and then submit your Google Doc through Canvas, which we will do quite frequently this quarter. Here's the first step. Once you get to Canvas, you're going to want to read through all the instructions under your Assignments tab. And right here, you can see here's the assignment, here's the directions, and then it gives you a link down here that will take you to the Tutorials page on App Inventor. There's lots of steps to follow to make that project work. And we're going to do several of these projects, so please make sure that you're understanding what's going on. If you don't, ask right away. I'm going to go over to App Inventor. Now, if this were my project, and this was the first one we did, which is called Talk to Me, you're going to want to take a screenshot of the blocks. Now, because we have Chrome boxes, it works differently than if you had a Windows computer. On your Chrome box, you'll look at your keyboard and you'll see the print screen. It's towards the top right hand corner of your keyboard. All you have to do is tap that button. So I'm going to do that right now. Now on yours, in the bottom right hand corner where you see my video, there will be a box that pops up and it says copy to clipboard. It's crucial that you click on copy to clipboard. Now once you have it copied, you're going to go over to your drive you're going to open up Google Drive and because this is the very first time we're doing this we're going to set up a folder so you're going to go to folder and I would call it app in Venter, and hit create from now on everything you create for App Inventor you need to be inside this so I'm going to double click App Inventor there's nothing there because it we just starting we're just starting it today you go to new docs the title of your document should be the same as the project you just called it. So we're going to call this one Talk to Me. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to paste it. There are my blocks. Now here's what you can do. It's, it's hard to see. It's a little bit blurry. You can double click the image, grab just the black handle, drag it down. That's the cropping tool. Now obviously mine shows up my video. I can hit enter. It's still kind of hard to see, so I might make it a little bit bigger. It looks pretty good. If it's a little bit blurry, that's okay. Not a huge issue. Now we do have a couple more steps to do before we submit it through Canvas. First one you'll notice is it's private only to you. So you need to click on share. You're going to go to advanced. And then right now it's private only you can access. I need to change that. And I can go right here on anyone with the link. Now most of the projects you're going to do will be can comment, that way I can leave a comment to you for your project. This one especially we're going to do is can comment. If I needed to edit something on your document, you could do can edit, but right now it's just can comment. I click save. This is my URL that's going to get shared to Canvas. So there will be another video that shows you specifically the Canvas portion of it. But the main things to remember now are print screen, copy to clipboard, bring it over to a, uh, to a Google document. Once it's there, paste it, and then change the share settings. So then I'm going to click Done. I can copy this URL here too. It's the exact same link. From there, then I have access to upload it to Canvas. All right, thanks a lot.